welcome back to the garage everyone in this third video we're going to start rebuilding all of the suspension components from our w126 here on the bench we've got the lower control arm we're going to start working on extracting this old bushing factory service manual calls this a bearing i'm not sure why so here's the new one there's a centerpiece and it has these two end caps that go like that so I looked at the factory service manual on extracting this bushing. That manual is written taking into account you having the official Mercedes tool designed for this job, which is an eight-piece tool. I'm not going to bother with that, so I'm going to use whatever means I have here in the shop. Hammers, chisels, a press, whatever comes to mind. All right, let's try a different tactic. Okay, we made a little bit of progress here. I've been cutting around the center part with a cutoff wheel and I was able to expose this corner of that center shaft. So basically I'm going to cut the corners off of each of these little sections here and use my chisel to remove the remaining metal. So this is what we got here. This is the progress we've made, everyone. All right, so we've, this is the end cap portion. And this is the center part of the bushing. And there's our bolt that, we, that we're banging with down there in the middle. So I think just a few more taps and we'll be down here. Woo. There we go. That was the easy part. All right, look at that. Let's move on, shall we? We're gonna clean this guy up. I think I might even throw a coat of paint on it. And then we'll press in a new bushing. All right, we're gonna move on to the, uh, to the, uh, again, I don't know what the hell you call this thing. This is, I'm gonna call it the, uh, the mounting bracket from now on, just because it's easy to say. This is mounted behind the upper and lower control arm assembly to the, and it's mounted to the bottom of the car. This rod connects into the lower control arm and provides longitudinal support for the lower control arm. This thing has got a ball joint in here and there's a, so to get this out of here, you've got to take this, this uh, tube off right here with this clamp. What you want to do is measure the number of threads there that you have so that you can get close to your alignment because this will affect your alignment as well if it's not right. And uh, you take these bolts off right here and take this thing out and that'll get that ball joint out of there. Also, we've got a couple of bushings that have to be replaced. I've got to figure out a way to uh, press these out of here. I think I might be able to uh, cobble something together.
There we go. Ooh, that's kind of nasty. I'm going to have to clean that up. This is an aluminum part, by the way. It's, it's pretty light. All right, so here's the new one. There's your new bushing. I mean, um, rubber. Uh, hell, I don't know what it is. <clears throat> All right, okay. okay. Oh, <laughs> look at that. How easy was that? All right. I was expecting it to be hard. So, hey, look at that. We found out where that rubber piece goes. It goes in there. Look at that. Oh, uh, let's see. Screwdriver. Ah, interesting. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave that in there for now just so I kind of know how that goes together. So we're going to set that aside and we're going to come back over here to this. I looked online. There is a tool to remove these bushings from this assembly. It's $1,400 for the tool. Um, I'm not going to buy the tool. So um, we're going to do this by hand, the old fashioned way. All right, I've got this Mercedes slash BMW uh, wheel bearing hub removal kit. Commandeered certain parts from it to try to push these uh, bearings out of this carrier. We have this sleeve here. We have this backing plate. We have this thrust nut. I guess that's what you want to call it. And then, of course, the, uh, the threaded shaft. So, uh, uh oh. So, our. Our threaded shaft won't go <laughs> won't go through there. That's that's pretty. I'm trying to see if I can use this to as a receiver cup because that one might be okay, but I don't know. I'll try to get some more of this rubber off. See what we're dealing with here. Okay, I've been using my razor blade to. Uh, carve off the rubber around this part right here just to see what you know what, what i'm dealing with right so i've got a nice plate here that we can use we've got a thrust a nice thrust nut that goes in there like that uh and here is the um the threaded shaft but we have a little bit of a problem because that hole right there is too small i'll just cut that out and sh with a cutoff wheel Wish me luck. I'm going to go finish this in the vise. All right, we were successful. I took it over to the vise to finish pressing it out of there. Uh, it was just kind of awkward here on the bench. All right, we've cleaned up our workbench a little bit, and I went ahead and purchased a new unibit so I can enlarge this hole so that I can get my, uh, my threaded shaft down in there and uh, pull this next bushing out.
there's a fair amount of preparation that you have to go through to start pressing these uh, old bushings out of here. You had to cut away some of the rubber so that the my, the receiving cup can can uh, receive the uh, the old bushing as it's drawn out. So we're about ready to get started. All right, here is the setup we have here. We got the uh, the braking support mounting bracket uh, tucked away nicely in the vise. Uh, if it scratches it, so what? I'll put paint on it. Um, we've got a receiver cup here. We've got a vice grip to prevent that from turning. And we've got a crescent wrench on, on the driving nut. So this is kind of slow and tedious, but uh, we're going to get there. All right, we reached the maximum depth of our makeshift receiver cup. Uh, I think we're down far enough where I can just go ahead and just tap it the rest of the way out. So I'm going to tap that out of there and clean this thing up. Just a couple of quick taps and it came right out. I began to realize that this, this, these were two different sizes. Stanley says about two and seven eighths there and about two and three quarters there. So yeah, I think one is slightly larger than the other. All right, we've got our braking support mounting bracket uh, naked. So next up, we're going to clean this thing up and get ready to press in the new parts. <laughs> All right, we've got our uh, bracket sort of cleaned up here. All the bushings out of it, uh, two bores cleaned up pretty well. I gave it a good wash with some soap and water. Cleaned up pretty well, I think. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get these two new bushings installed. Uh, I think we'll put a coat of paint on it then. All right, everyone, I think I'm going to have to call that a video. I've reached a stopping point, and I've got to wait on a couple of things to arrive in the mail before I can get started again. Uh, in this video, you will have seen the removal of the bushing from the lower control arm on the driver's side, plus the removal of the bushings from the from the braking support mounting bracket. You'll note that you you already see a uh, a new bushing in this side. I went ahead and, and got that one installed ahead of the game, but I've already recorded that video, and you're going to see the installation of that in part four. So stay tuned for that. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm waiting on my new control arm bushing installation tool. Yes, I broke down and bought the tool. And I realized it was just too much of a hassle. So I bought a tool from KTC. I'll put a uh, link in the description below. I tell you what, I think I'm going to hold off on that. When I make the next video... And if I'm successful with the tool, then I'll put a link in the bottom of the video for, for part four. But, uh, but for now, we're going to have to call this a video, folks. So, again, thank you for stopping by my channel. I want you to know that I really appreciate it. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe. We'll talk to you later.